In this video, we're going to be discussing five different tools that you can use to spy on your competition. So this will allow you to see lots of different things about their website, about their spending on Google Ads, and a number of different other things. Before we jump into this video, I want to share a really useful offer for you guys on this video. So if you want to make use of a VPN, then I highly recommend getting NordVPN two-year plan. NordVPN makes it very easy to browse the web securely and they have one-click connections to any VPN that you want to use across 59 different countries. So there are thousands of servers that you can use across the world. And the beauty of this is that it makes it really easy to travel. So no matter where you go, you can access the services that you're normally connected to online. One of the nice things about using a VPN is that when you browse through different websites, they do not know your actual IP address, your home IP address. So that keeps you safe online. Sometimes there's websites that you can't access based on the location that you're in. Even when it comes to buying things online, sometimes you'll get better prices if you are from a certain location. So you can simply choose that location using NordVPN. And an example of this is uh, my own account. I, I simply keep it connected pretty much all the time. Um, I use it across my mobile, my tablet, uh, and my desktop computers. Check out the link in the description below and make sure you take advantage of this 68% off. So the standard plan is $3.29 per month if you use this offer. Let's jump into this and look at five different tools that you can use to spy on your competition. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use my own website, one of my side projects as an example. So this is a typing test website and it allows you to measure the speed of your typing. So in this case, I have various competitors already in this space, but one of the most popular will be typing.com. And we're gonna use that as an example throughout this video. So the first tool we're going to look at is similar web. Now this will allow us to understand a lot more about our competitor, how much traffic they're getting uh, and various other things around that. So this will give us the year that they have founded. So it's been around since 2004. Uh, estimate number of employees. So they have like you know, up to 50 employees. They're based in the United States. And it also gives us the approximate revenue that they generate per year. So between 10 million and $15 million. So this is a pretty large website and they make a lot of revenue by the looks of it. Um, you can see here that they've got 4.8 million visits. So if we scroll down, we can see the ranking based on other websites in that category. So Within this category, they are ranked just under 7,000. So that's improving month over month. Scrolling down, then we can see the monthly traffic. So in May, they had 5.7 million visits. So that would translate into even more when, in terms of page views. Um, we can see here that the pages per visit is 12. That's really high. Average duration of visit, 11 minutes, 41 seconds and they have a bounce rate of 29%. So you can get a lot of information from this about your competitors and how their websites are being used by the viewers. Um, we can see that they are dropping in traffic month over month. So maybe some of the other pages on the first page of Google are competing with this and um, are possibly even that there is less demand month for month, um, but they are ranking in the number one spot for most of the search terms. Then we can see the ge uh, geography and country targeting. So most of the traffic is coming from United States, followed by India and then Canada. We get the age distribution, mostly 18 to 24 year olds. And it's almost an even split, slightly more males and females. And then we can see like competitors. So other websites in this space, uh, what categories are in, mostly in the education. And then we can see the, the competitors stats. So we can see monthly visits, uh, the ranking and what categories are in. So there's, there's tons of information and this is just a free account on similar web. So you should definitely check that out. There's a lot of information here and it's a really useful tool. So it's a great idea if you're looking to start a project and you want to see uh, how much traffic is actually going to some of these sites that already do that thing. Um, so it's a good way to see if there's a demand for that uh, website or product. The next website we're going to look at is Built With. So builtwith.com. This allows us to understand what technology they're using on the website when they build it. So we type in a domain and we can see a number of things already. So they're using 
hot jar for the uh, analytics. I think this tracks the engagement on the website. It's a third party tool. Uh, they're using customer.io for statistics, I guess. Uh, email people automatically based on what they do or don't in your app. So it's an engagement tool again, I guess. Uh, engagement slash marketing. What else have they got here? They've got some of the regular stuff like Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, uh, conversion tracking for Facebook. They've got global site tag from Google. Scroll down and we can see that they're using PHP. PHP 7. They're using Cloudflare for the CDN. So the DNS will be through Cloudflare. Uh, Cloudflare. Uh, different compatibility things here. Um, it looks like they're using Salesforce, uh, JavaScript libraries. You can see backbone.js. Well, it's quite old. Uh, Moment.js, that's for time uh, managing timestamps and different things in the browser. Um, what else have we got here? So there's a whole bunch of things that you can look at. It will tell you a lot of uh, in-depth information about what things are using on the website. So useful tool to see what they're using behind the scenes. Uh, the next site I'm going to look at is SEMrush. Now this is a really good tool, but it is a little bit limited if you're on the free plan. So I'm using a free plan, but it does allow you to uh, do some competitor research. So in this case, we can search for that domain name under the domain overview section. Now this will give us an authority score, which is useful. So we can see that this is quite high, 63 out of 100. And they have an organic search traffic of 2.9 million per month. Backlinks, this is really huge, 3.5 million backlinks coming from 14,600 domains. So underneath this, and we can see that there is approximately 10 visits per user. Now this is a little bit different from the previous site that we're looking at. So I think it was 12 per user on similar web, um, but here it's saying the estimated visit duration is 19 and a half minutes. So that's quite a lot. It's a really long uh, engagement time. So underneath this, and we can see things like the organic traffic volume uh, in comparison to the paid traffic. Now, in this case, it's mostly organic traffic and barely see any uh, paid. They did a little bit of paid here for a couple of months, um, but I guess they don't really need to do it. They're getting so much organic traffic already. We can also see the breakdown of countries in which the traffic is coming from. You can see how they are performing in the search. So we've got a number of uh, featured snippets here for people also ask FAQs, uh, images, and things like that. Underneath SM, we can see the top organic keywords. So we got things like typing games, typing test, and how much volume they are getting from that. So there's tons of information in here. Um, you can even see things like their competitors, what the top competitors are in that space. Um, lots of details in here that you can use to understand how your competitors are performing. The next tool I want to look at then is Ahrefs. Now, here's a lot of similar features to uh, what you can find in SEMrush, but they have this free tools section. And a couple of the ones in here that I really like are Backlink Checker and Website Authority Checker. Now, these are useful tools to get a better understanding of your competition. So in this case, say typing.com and we're going to get the backlinks so in this case it's giving a domain rating of 74 um, approximately 45,000 backlinks now this might be just going for the home page this might be taking this value just for the home page because I think it is a lot more than this but you can see approximately 3,000 domains referring to that home page and you can see all of the different sites are linking to their homepage. So kind of useful to understand the domain rating. Um, so that's a really strong domain rating. That means that they are going to uh, list really well in the search engine ranking. Again, we can do authority check, but it is quite similar. The authority check will give a similar rating to this. So again, we've got the rating of 74. Um, this is a kind of a summary of that information, but um, it will give you the same details as the previous page, but you're not seeing all of the backlinks.
The next tool I want to look at is SpyFu. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but SpyFu. And this will allow you to get a deeper understanding of uh, things around their paid marketing, um, paid keywords. So once you put the domain in, you can see the traffic breakdown. So we see this is mostly organic traffic. Um, and we can see an estimated monthly budget that they're spending on Google Ads uh, and approximate clicks per month. The nice thing here is that you can see how they are lose, uh, gaining or losing keywords. So they've lost about 12, just over 12,000 keywords uh, based on the updates on their site. So a lot of these keywords have dropped off, but they have got 8,000 newly ranked keywords and they've improved on 10,000. So the efforts are putting into improving the website. We can see how that's performing for them. Um, scrolling down, we can see what the paid keywords that they are uh, advertising for. So some of these things are obviously they're trying to be right at the top for some of these sort of paying to put their domain at the top of the search. Um, scrolling down then we can see the top pages that they have on their site. This is where most of the clicks are going to on their site. So people are going straight into the lessons, they're going into games, they're going into tests, tests being the biggest in this case. So there's a lot of information you can get here just on the free plan, but um, useful to understand where they are spending money on advertising their site. So that is gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys have found this helpful. I will put links to each of these tools in the video description below, so make sure to check that out if you wanna test these yourself. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.